Hello, welcome to SQL02Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about logical operators. Topics include conditions and expressions, logical operators, and operator, and or operator. Okay. So this is just a recap. We have learned that a where clause consists of a condition. And what is a condition? Condition is basically uh, operator uh, ex different expressions separated by operators right for example we can say condition is where id is equal to 2 so id is one expression 2 is another expression and equal to sign is an operator okay it's an equality operator now the condition returns either true or false so all these expressions uh, will be uh, like all these operators will be applied to the expression and final result would be either true or false okay so if the final result is true the row will be selected for display otherwise row will not be selected for display okay it's as simple as that okay now let's complicate things a bit okay now you can also join conditions together by logical operators okay so you can put two conditions together and separate them by either and or or so you can say where id is equal to 2 or where id is equal to 3 okay now what would happen if two condi conditions are separated by a logical operator the two logical operators and and or they're also known as boolean operators okay i guess boolean was the person who worked on um, on these logical operators so they're also known as boolean operators now let's come back to the topic here so we have two conditions each condition has multiple expressions separated by operators right some kind of a uh, comparison operators right now all these conditions on both sides will be resolved first to either true or false okay so we will have either true or false on this side and we will have either true or false on that side as well and we will have a logical operator in between okay so then true or false will be applied to this true or false based on the logical operator okay so now if you apply and to true trues the result will be true okay so the thing is if you note here that uh, the, the, the result of and operator will only be true if both are true if false comes into the picture of and the result is false okay just keep that in mind so true and true is true true and false is false false and true is false false and false is false so this is like you know common sense thing as well all right so you need to know uh, what will happen if you apply true or false uh, to another true or false using the and operator okay you need to know that now take a look at and or operator in the next slide okay but before I go to the next slide just keep in mind that and operator does not like false okay so if false come into the picture result will be false both has to be true for the result to be true okay so this is um, and operator now let's talk about or operator okay or operator is kind of uh, forgiving okay so if either one side is true the result is true okay again it's very common sense thing true or true is true true or false is true false or true is true and false or false is false okay so in in case of or operator if either of the side is true the result is true okay in case of and operator if either of the side is false result is false okay so Anyway, with this background, we're going to go to uh, the real environment and see uh, some examples of how I can write a WHERE clause in which there are two conditions. Okay, so let me go to my login, oh, wrong screen, for Oracle Express. So let me log in. My username is Hassan Mir. All right, so I'm going to go to this SQL icon. I'm gonna go to SQL command okay so we created a table in last tutorial the name of the table was contact let's see what we have in that table so I'm just doing a